Hi and welcome to the second in our daily episodes in which we take your questions and discuss some of the themes relating to living aboard a boat. If you've no idea who we are, we are Liz and Jamie and Millie the Cat. And we live on our boat currently in Southeast Asia but cruising the high seas. So today's episode, without further ado, let's just dive straight into it. Welcome aboard Esper for another daily special. Today we are going to be talking about, Elizabeth, what are we talking about? We're talking about items that we find extremely useful on the boat that may not immediately spring to mind. And which are inexpensive. Yes, they're all pretty inexpensive, in some cases even free. Yes. Okay, shall I go first? Yeah, you go first. Alright, so I'm going to jump in with my favourite. This is a lamp and this is a solar panel and this was given to us by two of our patrons actually, Gia, who's the yard manager where we got Esper's refit done and when we left after our refit Gia and his wife Julie gave us a little present which was this. Now it's a fairly innocuous looking lamp but it's packed full of features. The main thing is that it is solar powered so we use this as a night light mm. so we put the anchor light up we have our flashing lights on but this runs for the entire length of the night and into the next morning yeah, it does, when it's yeah. been charged by the solar panel so we leave this out during the day and it makes a good cockpit light it has uh, three lights in it so you can choose one light two lights three lights and you can also change the brightness of it but more than that it has this funny little so if you're feeling a bit lonely, you can listen to this fella. <laughs> right, 10 points, anyone in the comments to please interpret what he just said. Who knows? The other thing is that you can plug in your uh, iPod, your media player into the headphone jack and it's got a little speaker in it. And also it's got a USB port as well. So you can, I think you can charge your phone with the solar, anyway, I'm not sure. Yeah, we've never used that particular yeah. thing. We use it as a light, obviously. And you can eat your dinner by it. And as Jamie says, you can keep it on all night. So really? the long tails don't come bashing into your boat. So that was actually free. This didn't cost yeah. us anything. But uh, if you can pick up one of these, that it, seriously, we use it all the time. Really good bit of kit. Yeah. Gia, Julie, thank you. This. No, 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 no. You're supposed to no, no, start. No, 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 no. I'm going to show them the other way round. Oh. So this looks just like a colander, doesn't it? A colander useful, very useful in the kitchen for That's everything. The right for way everything. Round, yeah. yeah. But these big bowls and things can take up quite a lot of room. Not this one. Takes up that much room. It's absolutely brilliant. It's completely resistant to heat, to cold, to everything. Just, you can have it at any size. I use it sometimes as a steamer inside a saucepan. Use it as a straightforward colander. It does, it's good for vegetables, for pasta. What else do we use it for? There is a nice hat. I think it makes a very good hat. Yeah, it's like a, really a little nice trilby. Yeah. But yeah, I think these are very popular in, yeah. in the West as well. You've you see them got... in the cook shops. And yeah. you, there's so many things now are made of silicone because it's such a durable material. It but is, it's brilliant. on a boat, as Liz says. Collapsibility is what it's all about. Mm. Really recommend that for the kitchen. Easy to store. I tell you what, look, I'm on the lamp theme. Yeah. I should explain that I inherited my obsession with lights, lamps and torches from my grandfather, who had a torch for every occasion. My father is a little bit similar as well. In fact, I think it just runs in the whole family. family. We love lights and torches and things. But this, now my friends on Facebook will know that I raved about this thing. When I came across this in Krabby Boat Lagoon, wasn't it? We went to a restaurant there yeah, and a local yeah, girl right. had each of these on the table. I can't really show you now, so I'll probably cut as I'm talking to a shot of it at night. It's another lamp. And what happens is when you tap the top, the light comes on and it's a white light. The best bit is that this base glows six different colors yeah. and it changes it's like a modern day lava lamp. It's lovely. It's lovely. And it bays the cockpit at night in 
a variety of rainbow lights. It's lovely. We all love it. Most importantly, it charges by USB. Yeah. Well, USB on boats, of course, is just a godsend. So to be able to charge stuff by USB, especially a beautiful little table lamp. Mm. Kind of still in the galley theme. It's a flask. It's a flask. I mean, it's obvious, really. Every boat has them. If they haven't, get one. This, though, is so brilliant. I got it in Phuket at uh, one of the big stores there. And it was suggested to me by an Austrian friend of ours on his boat because it costs about three pounds and it takes one and a half liters of hot or cold. I use it for hot. So I'll make a pot of tea in the morning and I can still drink it in the morning the next day. It stays hot for hours. Liz drinks tea by All the day. gallon and she makes her own tea with yeah. lemongrass and herbs and spices and things. Ginger. Yeah. So she's got this on the go all the day. She's very yeah. sensible like that, rehydrating all the time. Yeah, because so. I'm not a real big fan of just plain water. I need something in it. And uh, it's better than a teapot because it lasts for ages. So uh, get one of these. I'm not sure you can get them over anywhere other than here, but uh, get a flask. Get yourself a fan. <gasps> Look at the size of this thing. This is rather, rather big. Okay. <laughs> little bit of background we have a number of Kaframo uh, fans dotted yep. around the boat yep. and um, each one of those costs between I don't know 60 to 100 dollars or something yeah, easily and unfortunately ours aren't necessarily placed in the right places and they only provide a very short amount of windage and Basically, they don't do much at night in the tropics. No. I have, really have to be honest, unless you're sitting right in front of it. They're all right, and they're supposed to not be very noisy, but they do make a noise. Uh, yes, and the, the Sirocco that we have, uh, we've got through two or three of those, and they last about a year. Yeah, they so, give up the ghost. enter this the suggestion. Dragon. This the beast. This looks ridiculous, doesn't it? And it is ridiculous. But the beauty of this is that, A... It has very, very big blades, 50 centimetres across, oh no, sorry, 50, 500 mil, anyway, it's big. So it produces a large amount of wind. The second important thing is that they rotate relatively slowly mm. compared to most fans. The third thing is you can see it hasn't got a guard, but the blades are bendy, mm. so you can put your finger in it and it's mm. fine. I've hit my head on it loads of times. Uh, but most importantly is the power that it consumes because it revolves slowly, if you run it through a small inverter, and we have, I think our smallest inverter is maybe only 100 watts, it's a tiny, tiny little thing. If you run this through a small inverter, you are drawing, I think it's under an amp? Yeah, definitely it's under an I amp. I think it's under an amp. Yeah. Now, you, which basically means you can run it all night. Yeah, which we do. So we draw one amp for every hour, but we can run it all night, and it creates such a breeze, and because of its articulated arm, we can clip it with a clip here onto the uh, hatch uh, legs. Yeah, strap. So it basically sits directly underneath the hatch, which is great because, of course, it's pulling in all the nice, cool nights. It's air. articulated here as well. Yeah. So it's got two articulated places. Oh, yes, that cold air it brings. It re in. Seriously, I know it looks stupid, yeah. but this was a recommendation from oh. Fairway, Kerry and Lynette, and they were raving about it. We now own about four of them, yeah. I think. We saw it in the supermarket, they were telling us, and so we thought, oh, we'll try it. We can't believe it's that good. And we had it the first night, and just, I was cold. I had to put a cheat on. And we went back to the supermarket, bought another three. So. At yours for, what was it? Five pounds. We'll put in the description a little bit more about each of these things. Uh, but they're a bit odd, and we pick them up in odd places. So just to give you an idea. So this is a bit more expensive. This is about £30. It's amazing. It's the usual, you know, completely watertight bag. And when you're going back and forth in the dinghy, you need a watertight bag with the camera equipment, phones, all that kind of thing. We really, you just never know, especially when you go onto a beach, you might just tip. Something might happen. So we use watertight bags all the time. But these are really, really good. They're huge. And on the other side, you will see. It's also a rucksack. That's the key thing. That is the key thing. It's a rucksack. It's a really good rucksack. Uh, it's very comfortable. It's 
easy to wear. You've so got we, your hands free. So we see these things everywhere. I mean, every yeah, boat has every these, you know, these waterproof things. And the idea is, of course, that you roll the top down. Yeah, if you haven't seen them. And you clip them in, so they're completely watertight. We've got a few on the boat, but yeah. this is the only one we have that's actually a rucksack. Yeah. And it really does make getting things around so yeah. much easier, doesn't it? So it's really, really practical. And we use them every time we go ashore. We have one each. Yeah. By the way, we should add that we are not affiliated in any way to <laughs> these products. <laughs> no. This is just kind of like a random, you know, these are the things that we use on a daily basis. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, hopefully, we'll, you know, maybe you'll find them useful. And uh, if you can pick up any of those items, re really do recommend them. Yeah, or, or anything similar. You know, think outside the box. Don't think everything's got to be marine. You put the word marine in front of anything, price goes up 10 times. Have you got anything left? Well, there's, there's the only other thing really is just, I mean, you've seen these, they're Bluetooth speakers, uh, they're very popular, blah, blah, blah. But this one, when I came across it on Amazon last year, got so many five out of five ratings, I could not believe it. I thought, well, look, a little speaker like this, I can put on my mouth. <laughs> not quite as loud as my mouth no <laughs> uh how can it get so many five star ratings mm. anyway it costs 12 pounds uh it's made by anchor a-n-k-e-r which is rather appropriate mm -hmm. and this is super super loud it's amazing the amount of sound you get out of this in such a small cube yeah it's really really good and jamie is a music I'm a, I'm sound an purist yes. you know he would never have one of those it's taken him 10 years and uh, we do use it don't we yep so, you know, if you're watching films on your laptop, for example, yeah. or maybe you're just watching a film on your smartphone as opposed to your big system, yeah. it, it's, it's good for that. Yeah. So, yeah, very good. One of those. And finally... Finally, the most important. The most important thing of all, and this came completely free. Well, this, this was about 50p. And this belongs to the final thing which was free, which this is her tickle stick. And this is one of the ways that <laughs> Millie gets go. her exercise. She does. She loves it. She doesn't at the moment. She's not very happy because I just picked her up off the deck just to show you. As you can see, she needs exercise. She's not a small cat, are you, Mill? <laughs> this thing drives her insane. Yep. Pets for toys. Really important on a toys boat. Toys for pets. If, if you know. <laughs> <laughs> or pets for toys. We've got the toys we thought we'd get. Yes, yeah, so we picked up Millie, I think, as most people know, for free. She was a little stray. Um, all her mates after we left were sadly destroyed so we were able to rescue Millie and she's the most beautiful wonderful free thing that we've ever had on the boat and in tomorrow's edition yeah let's do it tomorrow yeah let's do it tomorrow in tomorrow's edition we're going to talk about having a pet on board a boat and what it's like yep so don't forget leave your comments and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you tomorrow.